Virat uh, not available for uh, today's game. Rohit Sharma is there. A couple of surprises in the Indian playing 11 today. India have uh, won the toss and chosen to bowl first. Uh, Yashasvi Jaiswal uh, apparently did not pull up well and so he isn't playing. Uh, no Kuldeep either. Uh, since India is bowling first, Rohan, we'll look at, uh, we'll look at the bowling first. Also, no uh, Sanju Sampson. Jitesh Sharma gets, uh, gets a nod. Uh, no Avesh Khan either. We'll look at the bowling. What do you make of this with Mukesh Arsteep? Uh, the two pacers and the three spinners, Rohan. Yes, yeah, so well, I think Washington Sundar again, Washington Sundar and Aksar uh, in a sense, that all-round slot. Uh, in case uh, Hardik, we don't know what Hardik's fitness uh, uh, situation is right now. In yep. case he's, God forbid, he's unfit for the World Cup, these are the two who are probably vying for that all-round slot, bowl, bat a little bit. Uh, so, I think it's a good inclusion. Uh, but look, uh, three spinners, uh, in this cold in weather in Mohali, obviously we haven't seen the pitch. We don't know what the pitch they, is like. They obviously know something we don't. Yeah, they obviously know something. I was just going to say, they obviously know something we don't because uh, from what we hear, it's, there's there's a cold wave over there. You're expecting the ball to move around, you know, swing around, seam around, but they've gone with three spinners. So, look, again, again, I'm just saying this is just me throwing darts in the dark. They're looking probably at the big picture. Yeah, yeah. They're saying, okay, listen, let's Maybe not worry about the result of the series, let's work out certain combinations, let's give certain players an opportunity because they're looking at the big picture, they're looking at the World Cup and as, as we've said, this is the only international series, T20 series before the World Cup. Yeah. So, they're going to be trying out different combinations uh, and that's why again, Jitesh is there ahead of Sanju Samson. I think Jitesh is there ahead of Sanju Samson because we were speaking about this uh, off-air, is that he bats at number 5-6. Yeah. His, his, uh, if you look at, again, Virat, Rohit, if these guys are going to be playing, he's not going to be batting at number 3. So, you want someone who, your wicketkeeper to be batting at number 5-6. Sanju Samson bats at, you know, in the IPL at 1-2-3. Again, if you look at strike rates, nearly 160 for Jitesh. You will look, you know, 0-50, 0, 0 but that's because of the number he bats. Yeah. Very tough to get a 50 and 100 when you bat, no doubt. Mm. Yes, these are his IPL numbers. So, clearly, Sanju Samson, uh, Joy, the more pedigree player, has played a lot more cricket. But are they saying, let's look at this series as an audition for the T20 World Cup? As he said, let's look at the bigger picture and not worry too much about the result? Yeah, and I was just thinking that Sanju Samson would have had a much more secure place. Forget the other wicket keepers around. We know Rishabh Pant is there, KL Rahul is there, Ishan Kishan is there. But he would have had a much more secure feel about it had Rohit and Virat not yeah. put up their hands. Yeah. Because now what's happened is, your top order is very crowded. Yeah. Where, who do you fit in? Yashasvi comes in, Shubman comes in, okay? You have to play somebody like a Suri at 4 or 5, okay? So, you're really, then you're talking about 6, you're talking about 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, okay? 6, 7 maximum because we start getting the other all-rounders. So, it's Jitesh, Rinku, these players become crucial because these are the positions they'll be batting at. Yeah. Is, Sanju, is Rinku, that's not Sanju's position. Is Rinku's position most vulnerable because once Hardik, Surya come back, KL Rahul possibly in the mix as well. Uh, is Rinku someone who is perhaps likely to miss out as well? Uh, again, Rinku, I, I think for whatever Rinku has done, he's done fantastically yeah. with whatever chances. But given the way this team is sort of lining up, yeah. where does he, you see, once you have, if Surya is batting at if 5, if Surya is batting at 4, Rinku still has a chance. If Surya is batting at 5, then between Hardik, Jitesh, uh, you know, they need a finisher. Mm. And that place, then Jitesh, Jitesh will come ahead simply because you can't play a keeper up front unless they picked up Rahul up front uh, to bat out there. How many slots is India genuinely, realistically looking to fill with, look, with the return of the big guns? Well, look, for me, if I... Luckily, I am not. <laughs> but, <laughs> luckily, I'm, I'm throwing this out there. Luckily, I'm not. But if I had to, and it's very easy sitting here and saying, for me, my three certainties as far as batting is concerned would have been Yashasvi, uh, Surya Kumar Yadav and Rinku. Wow. Uh, top of the order, middle of middle order, and one finisher. finisher. Yeah. These would be my three certainties, and then you work around the rest. So look, uh, make what you will of that. But for me, those would be my three certainties. But like I said, luckily I don't have to make that decision. Yep.